my ex. I love that she is marrying such an amazing man, Shola. I remember when she called me and said she met a gentleman at the club. And I said, oh, hell no. So Shola, please take good care of my sister. Brittany, I'm sure Shola's family feels the same when they say, take good care of Shola. You know you know feel her. The love I get for you, na for real. You know you say you know see ya. When no be say I be just seen ya. Story of my life. The funny part is the breakdown for the parts of the battle of all the shadows down. You just said no. Let me get to the bottom. Well, first and foremost, I want to thank all of you guys for being here and just watching this celebration with me. If you haven't watched the traditional video, make sure you go watch that wedding. Hit like and subscribe. Make sure to vibe. Grab a drink. Have some fun with us. People asking, oh, can we give a gift? Link below. Make sure you follow my Instagram, my TikTok, and leave a comment. So my wedding was in Benin City. The traditional was in Coco, which is about an hour from Benin City. Our actual reception was in Benin City. So my husband's family, his village is in Coco, Delta Wari State. But as I said in my video before, he grew up in Benin. So like all his friends, his homeboys, his fraternity, Everybody is in Benin. Y'all know how YouTube goes, so like the music that was playing in the background, I can't even play, but we tried to make do with this video. Today is gonna be a phenomenal day. Excited to be sharing this with you. Can't wait to be in Abuja with you and Shola. It has already been a phenomenal experience and can't wait for more. We are so happy to be here. Thank you for all you've done for us. We are about to have the best night ever. Hi, you guys. Happy married life. Woo! Wish you a lifetime of love, happiness, and blessings of blessings. I'm so excited to be here. My sweetheart, my baby, I'm so happy that today has come. And we are happy to celebrate today together. I want to let you know that you mean a lot to me, you mean the world to me, and I love you so much, and there's nothing I won't do for you. As long as I'm able to do it, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to go to the end to make sure that I make it very comfortable. I met Shola in a place in my life where I was just really unsure about my next steps in my future, and I just had like a lot going on and was feeling really confused, and... I met him like at the perfect time and I've always told everybody like my grandma came to me in a dream the night after I met Shola and she told me that he was going to be my husband and it manifested and like for us to be here today and I pray that God continue to take us from strength to strength and I love you Shola like so much 100 <laughs> So I did not go out the night before. I had my bachelorette party actually in Lagos like five days before now. My husband went out with all his friends and my dad and my brother and all that y'all. But I'm a grandma like I ain't got it in me like I used to. So I barely even made this like bridesmaid era shoe and all that. I didn't feel like doing it when I woke up because it's stressful getting your makeup done trying to just find some time peace you know everyone's always on cp time so it was kind of hard for me to do content but i did try to prioritize it my husband gets a little grumpy so i had to kind of like force him to even do the content he really wasn't trying to but he was a trooper about it he is really not into this youtube instagram tiktok show it off do all this life but he just looked so handsome and was in such a good mood really trying to be a trooper so 
I told Ruru that the theme we were going with was Winter Wonderland, bringing winter to Nyjah, and she bought the snow, you guys. Very winter-esque entrance. We had the 360 camera. Like, it was just gorgeous. We got there a little earlier than everybody else so that we could take pictures. Let's get ready. You know what today is? Wedding day. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We all know our duties for today. So get set and get ready as we are good to go. So, it was really just like, honestly, breathtaking. It was way more than I expected. It was way more than I felt like we deserved. Like, it was just, I don't even have the words like to really describe. I just never in my life have like envisioned having a wedding, to be honest. Like, I don't know. So to have like such an abundance of love, people there for us, his friends, my friends. I'm in Nigeria. I'm on the continent of Africa. My black ass American family is here with me. His family is here. Nothing but love, nothing but good food, nothing but good drinks. Venue 100, like, it was just a surreal moment that I will just, like, forever appreciate, and I don't know. So, that's his mom and his family in the orange. That was the family fabric that they chose. I was trying to go for metallics, so they were technically supposed to do bronze, but this is like the closest we could really get to bronze. So here comes my family in the silver, my brother in the brown and the purple. That's my brother, AJ. He just jumped in because they called family. But really, he was a part of Shola's ass out B. So he should have kind of been in the back. He was kind of playing both sides, which is really cool. But everyone in gray is from the United States and came for me either an auntie there's my baby bop you guys there's brayson my dad so they were like oh my god britney so what is the dance that we're gonna have to do on the way in like i'm feeling nervous but they all just did really good at like going with the flow and looking super natural and happy and i just like could not have asked for better so I did not see the entrance until I watched the video myself because they were like, oh, you guys have to come in later. So we came in like kind of after everyone. So I was actually really proud when I saw them. You guys see Simone. She came from Ghana. She now lives in Ghana and this is her little bay, bay, bay. So she did. I met Simone in Kenya. She's one of my continent friends turned besties. So it was just amazing, you guys. It was like just super love filled and dreamy, dreamy, dreamy.
So the spring was just like super continuous. Everybody showed mad love. They don't just have one time that you spray. It's like you just keep spraying, you just keep spraying like all throughout. So that was one of my favorite parts. Um, it does kind of give me anxiety because I feel bad about the people who are picking it up off the ground. Like it's just kind of awkward, I don't know. So our host was Ido Pekin. And he is a really, really popular host in Benin City. And I loved him because it was a really interactive reception. Like, it was not boring. So they played this game where we got to choose people who came up. Shola chose three. I chose three. So, of course, I'm going to put, like, all my sisters out and make them uncomfortable and have to go play these games. So MC Edo Pekin was, like, sending them out into the crowd to go, like, fetch things. And it was, like, musical chairs almost. So, like, somebody go get a red hat. Everyone go grab a red hat. Okay. Everyone go grab a watch. Find somebody in the crowd with the Rolex. Okay. Find somebody's shoelace. Find a wig. Find an eyelash. Like, it was super, super entertaining and engaging. And... It was just so funny to watch. Like, I like things like that because weddings can be kind of boring when you're just sitting there. Like, there's only so much drinking you can kind of do. So they did a lot of, like, interactive crowd games. And it was really entertaining. My brother ended up winning, and he is so, so competitive. So this was, like, right up his alley. Let me tell you guys about my brother, AJ. So... He is number one, just one of the smartest and funniest men that I know. But I think he ended up having the time of his life more than he even expected. He was supposed to be in gray fabric, you guys. And he actually ended up being a part of Shola's SLB because they embraced him and just loved him so much. He was like hanging around with Shola and all of Shola's friends the entire time. They, like, nicknamed him Olenu, I think. Like, he left Nigeria with the Nigerian name. Like, he knew more Pigeon than I knew by the time we were leaving. He was leaving. So it was just really, really funny. It was super on brand that he won. And I was just loving it for us. It was a really good time. So the chairman is appointed to like make a speech during the ceremony. This is actually not Shola's dad. This is the elder of his family who was also at the traditional wedding. Shola's dad is sitting down and to the right in that little corner. You might not be able to see him, but he just blessed us, blessed our family, wished good times on us, health, wealth, and prosperity. Um... It was just super cute, you guys. So there's Nyala, there's Amanda, and everyone is just chowing down. We didn't even really get to eat the way that we wanted to. 
So the funny part is, you guys, I am actually growing into a very shy person. Like, too much room attention makes me feel uncomfortable lately. I don't know. Like, you know, I'm more of a blogging type because it's not really 50 million people around. But, like, I was super nervous. Like, it's a lot of people around. All the attention was on us and, like, everyone's staring at us. So it just made me, like, super nervous. So... The host was, like, playing games, like, what are you going to call her to get her to come to you? Name, like, three names, baby, sweetheart, honey bun, like, all these things. So I was cracking up because I know that these are names that he, like, actually calls me. He's really, really romantic, and we have, like, really cute pet names for each other. So it's just, like, really funny. So onto this cake, you guys. She had to convince me to get a cake this big. I did not want a cake this large. I actually am not a cake person. So I wanted like a cupcake table, a cupcake tower, something. But she was like, girl, read the room, look around. Like you need to have a better cake, something pop in. So they did like this really cute presentation and we used this sword to cut the cake. So one thing that is just like really different for me and like made me even shy is they're like, cut the cake to how many children you want to have. Let's start at 15. Like, don't cut it until we get to how many kids y'all are going to have. 15, 14, 13. So that's why we're like not cutting the cake because we're like, what the hell? I was like, bro, just go down to, to start at three. Damn, like... You're starting at 15. That's outrageous. Like, nobody's trying to be doing all that. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I was making that face. Like, boy, oh, my God, you doing too fucking much. So, we were laughing because nobody is trying to pay for multiple kids in today's society, you guys. So, we said we would do two. And so, everyone was like, thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, we good. We good. Keep the motion going. So one thing that my mom was kind of adamant on was like us cutting the cake because I didn't want a cake. So she insisted and then she also really insisted on us jumping the broom. So like that is an African-American tradition when slaves were not allowed to get married. So you like jump the broom together on a Sunday morning to signify your marriage and love for one another. My sister and her husband did the same exact thing at their wedding. 
So my mom was just like super adamant on us doing that and like I'm glad that we did it. So you guys can see that I have my flats on because I actually was not interested in wearing heels at a certain point. Like that's just not me. But I did really like appreciate that. My planner actually surprised me with that broom because I had told her not to get it anymore. I was like kind of over Everyone, it, but she just I'm came so out the woodworks with it. Today's toast. I am Brittany's older sister. And I love her very much. I love that she is marrying such an amazing man, Shola. I remember when she called me and said she met a gentleman at the club. And I said, oh, hell no. But I think that this is a representation that when God has a calling, you can find your soulmate anywhere in the world. So Shola, please take good care of my sister. Brittany, I'm sure Shola's family feels the same when they say, take good care of Shola. And if I could give any marriage advice, I would say this. We're never going to all be at 100%. You, you have, to have to go, go by, by the 80-20 rule. And, and as, as long as you have 80%, don't, don't worry too much about the 20. I know y'all like that. It's okay. Sorry. I know I know like <laughs> so, so don't, don't fret too much on the small stuff. As, as long as you do everything that you can each day to make each other happy, that's all that matters. And as long as you're genuine, you're committed, and you're always looking to compromise, that is where marriage succeeds, is in the compromise. Okay? So please continue to compromise. You have at least 50, over, 50 people over here that will come over here and whoop both of y'all. If at all, you aren't fighting for each other. Got it? All right. A toast to Shola and Brittany. Toast. So I was really appreciative of my sister giving that impromptu speech. I actually did not even warn her she was giving a speech. I just like... Was like, girl, just come on up. But here's our first little dance, you guys. Super romantic with the balloons. Aww. Do you guys peep our names on the floor? Like, Ruru really outdid herself, you guys. The little smoke and all of the vibes. Super romantic call. And then they called, like, all the couples out on the floor to join. And it was just so cute, you guys. So... This is when we started to like wrap up and get ready for the after party. After this, I excused myself and went to go change, do my makeup in the back while my husband kind of like hung out with his friends and guests in the crowd. And this was the wedding. Um, I was just so happy, you guys. This is one of the best days of my life honestly and truly and just having my family there my husband's family people who I've met through this channel just like undying love in the building I just love it so I plan on watching this over and over again Make sure that you guys leave a comment and let me know which part of the decor you appreciated the most. Oh, you guys, look at me giggling. Mm, love is truly a beautiful thing.
Alright you guys, well we're wrapping this video up. I'm gonna leave you guys off with the after party and it was just fucking wild. It was really a good time. Honestly, I had more fun at the after party than I had at any club in Legos. Like all jokes aside because it was just super comfortable. I had everything I needed. The food was banging. Shout out to JBegs. Um, go to my Instagram if you want to see more like behind the scenes things. Make sure that you follow my TikTok, you guys. Look at my little boo. Brayson is getting so big. Um, make sure that you guys leave a comment, you guys. I would love to talk to you. Is this your first Nigerian wedding that you're watching? Get it in your shoes and the grooves with your socks off, block car, yeah, there's a rock star. Get it in your shoes and the grooves with your socks off, block car, yeah, there's a rock star. Get it in your shoes and the grooves with your socks off, block car, yeah, there's a rock star. Get it in your shoes and the grooves with your socks off, block car, yeah, there's a rock star. Everybody know we gon' do it like this.
All right, I love you guys. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. Um, hit me up, go to my community page. I am doing a question and answer soon. So if you would like to know more or have questions, let me know and shout out to all of my vendors. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah.